What a difference a couple years makes. Ooh. A few years ago, <laughs> Olivia and I were on Zoom talking right as the pandemic began. Gosh. And now we're here at Radio Roll at Super Bowl 57. I didn't think we'd be able to get to this point. <laughs> I didn't either, and I'm so glad we are. And look, everyone's walking around. Everyone's excited about the game. It's like, it's like it never even happened, right? right. No more Zoom interviews. No nope. Zoom interviews. We are done yes. with that. Now, now we're back to being yeah. in person and Love being it. here in person at Radio Row. How special is this type of experience, knowing all eyes are right here in this room? Well, we were saying, if any news in the NFL broke, can you imagine what this place <laughs> would do? All NFL Twitter is here. Yep. All NFL media is here. Um, I would love if Aaron Rodgers, like today, announced he was retiring or something. This place would maybe combust. Um, it's really special because you feel like you're right in the thick of it, and you are. This feels, this week, this feels like the center of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to in this upcoming game? I know you have the Chiefs background. You yeah. were there for the, for the divisional round. Yeah. And now the Chiefs and the Birds will be battling out in the Super Bowl. What are you looking forward to? Um, I think the storylines going into it, which of course get hammered to death for the two weeks we know yep. the matchup. Um, but when you actually are here, you see why. I mean, it, it really does matter the, the Kelsey Bowl, the uh, coach going against his former team, like every storyline that we harp on, youngest quarterbacks versus black quarterbacks, it's important. And when you're here and when Sunday rolls around, which still feels like it's forever, forever away. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we make it to Sunday, I think it'll sink in. And then you realize in five years and 10 years, when you refer back to every Super Bowl, like one storyline sticks in your head. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, oh, that's a 28 to three Super Bowl. Uh, that's the Harbaugh Bowl, Harbaugh. And then this one, I feel like we'll say that was the Kelsey Bowl. That was the Andy Reid against the Eagles Bowl, you know? Yeah. So you're here with BetMGM walking yeah. around interviewing people. What's the lock for this game? My personal opinion is the under, and here's why. There's a lot of casual bettors who bet on the Super Bowl and no other games. And they don't have skin in the game. They don't care about either team. They just want to watch. They want scoring. They want the over. So because so many people are taking the over, that drives it up. And I like the under. I do. I think in the Super Bowl, take the under. All seven playoff games, the under has hit. It's a trend that is important, and you should follow it. So the under will be the lock. Who's going to be the team that hoists the Lombardi? The Chiefs. It's the Chiefs, for sure. And, of course, I'm from Kansas City. I'm a Kansas City fan. Um, but also, for, from a betting angle, at plus money, you can get Chiefs money line. So that's a really attractive price. I like the Chiefs. Olivia, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you, Appreciate it.